Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. As we continue our evening of holiday romances, we next have a film by the multi-talented Garson Kanan. Kanan best known by some as the man who wrote the Broadway comedy Born Yesterday. Others know him for his screenplays of Double Life, Adam's Rib, and Pat and Mike. But he's also acted briefly on Broadway. He's also written short stories, biographies, and directed both Broadway plays and films. I mean, Garson Kanan's had quite a career. And during the 1940s, in the midst of World War II, Kanan was drafted and assigned to the Army's film unit, where he made several documentaries about the war experience. And one of them, called The True Glory, which he worked on with fellow director Carol Reed, won the Academy Award for the Best Documentary Feature of 1945. Well, our next film is one Kanan directed before World War II, before his Army days. It's a comedy called Bachelor Mother from RKO in 1939. It stars Ginger Rogers and David Niven. Ginger at the peak of her career back then, Niven just beginning his climb to becoming a genuine star in films. Now in the movie, Ginger plays a sales girl in a department store who, because of an innocent thing that happens to her, is suspected of having a baby that she abandons at an orphanage. But the truth is, the baby isn't hers. She found it on a doorstep, but nobody believes her. Then one misstep after another happens to Ginger. No fun for her, but very entertaining for the rest of us. It is a delightful story, one which in fact earned an Oscar nomination for 1939 for the man who wrote it, Felix Jackson. And the story is also so good, RKO Studios used it again 17 years later, remaking it as a movie called Bundle of Joy with Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher. But here's the original, also with Charles Coburn, directed by Garson Kanan. From 1939, Bachelor Mother. <laughs> Thank you. 